Now this doesn't look much like a visitor attraction. It's called Mount Pleasant and it's the Royal Mail's biggest centre in London. But just down this street are two wonderful places to spend a couple of hours. In its heyday, it was one of the largest sorting offices in the world, but these days the site has gradually become underused. However, Royal Mail have sponsored clever new visitor attractions into their oversized premises. First off, Dave and I call in at the Postal Museum on one side of the street. It was opened in 2017 with a sizeable cafe and gift shop. It's all run by the Postal Heritage Trust, with an eye to entertain children and adults alike, with interactive displays revealing the surprising and fascinating story of Britain's first social network. The Ground Floor Museum displays a lively and colourful 500-year timeline of Britain's postal service. Now, if you opt to buy the full museum ticket, you can cross the road and enter the highly popular Mail Rail exhibition. Opened in 2017, it now preserves the heritage of London's underground mail delivery network. Our ticket is timed for a ride on a Bijou postal train at 16.30. When the post office mail rail was launched in 1927, the ingenious little trains ran on electric lines, swiftly collecting mail from London's major railway stations and bringing it here to the Mount Pleasant sorting office. The line linked Paddington Station and through the city to Liverpool Street and on to Whitechapel. The 220 staff working on the six and a half mile route helped cut the journey time for mail carts from two to three hours to just 30 minutes. At its peak, the line delivered up to four million letters per day. But with an increased use of electronic mail, there became a global decline in letter writing and mail rail was finally closed in 2003. With a quick look at the introductory movie, our 16.30 departure is now due. Two new miniature trains have been purpose-built. Each carry 32 passengers for 15 minutes on a specially prepared section of the original mail rail tunnels. But there is a difference. We have a driver. Looking forward to this. Okay, we're off. Gosh, it's really small in here. <laughs> now we're done with the tunnel. Hello and welcome to Mail Rail. You're about to explore some of London's hidden underground postal railway. I'm Andy, your guide today. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not lean against the doors or the canopies as this will stop the train from moving. Thank you. This unique narrow gauge railway was designed to carry mail, not people. So if you're feeling a little cramped, that's why. And although we have a driver today, the original mail trains were driverless. It was a huge network of automated electric trains running right under central London, carrying mail between main railway stations and sorting offices much faster than along the congested streets above our heads. much as it did on the day it shut down in 2003. When Mel Rail was running, this platform would be a hive of activity. You'd see people playing darts between the trains arriving, guys conversing back and forth and wheeling work up and down. It was a noisy and lively place to work. The projections on the station walls are stunning. I'll tell you two things that sum up the 70s. Postcodes made life a lot easier and strikes made life not so easy. In the 50s, Air travel became much more common, and so did air mail, and that meant even more of it travelled along mail rail. The railway was bombed several times. This station suffered the most damage when it was hit in 1943. Amazingly, the railway was back up and running the very next day. That reflected how vital the railway had become. the 
left leads to Liverpool Street Station, where mail was transferred to the main railway network. Further down that tunnel, it looks like a maintenance crew was checking the flood barriers. During the railway's construction, ten men scrambled to safety when the nearby river fleet broke into where they were digging. With ticket sales booming at the Postal Museum, this part of undiscovered London will soon be on the major attractions list. Well, that was fantastic. That was absolutely brilliant.